Silence, Earth, meet. Yeah, I love people who come up to you and on a friendly pretext, they start talking to you about the flu. Yeah, I got the flu, I got it. Yeah, I sure got the flu, all right. They're spraying it all over you in the process, they're spraying it to you. Why do I feel shitty? They're spraying it all over you. <laughs> Couldn't miss any work today. Thought I'd infect the entire factory. Use a little germ warfare on my boss there. That's the only way I can get to him. By giving him my baby's flu. The baby he starved by denying it milk. Today is the first anniversary of the day before the war. That was a great war, huh? CNN showing the same three or four shots of the same Iraqi bunker exploding? That was a wonderful little war. Don't think that we'll ever forget it either. This election year, I've decided to run for president on a third party platform. It's called the Concord Party. Our platform is Rip holes in the ozone layer so fat cats don't get jet lag. <laughs> and it fits on your bumper sticker. I'm the wrong hero and I'm here to declare that the media is engaged in a gigantic conspiracy against the wrong hero. <laughs> a conspiracy of silence. Oh my God. Samoa, and the American Virgin Islands, and Mount Subic, and Guantanamo Bay, and England. But one laugh. I'm hoping for none in the next 50 minutes. Maybe I'll get my wish. Maybe the reason people don't like the wrong hero is because the wrong hero is a walking textbook on how to make people hate you! <laughs> and I get to thinking about the wrong hero and I think, the wrong hero must be in league with the devil. He makes $6.66 an hour! And that was from the heart. So yeah, yeah, the wrong hero is gonna sell out higher. Come up here, Eric. I forgive you all of your sins. Can I run much through your pockets? <laughs> They're always on me about the 12 steps. Well, I only got 12 minutes. 
I can't afford to devote an entire disquisition to your favorite topic, Eric Body. But I'll squeeze it in the end if you request it again. Give me a dollar so I can burn it. So I'm going to open up a club. It'll be a club geared around Australian Aborigines. And it'll be called Abo Hut. <laughs> Follow the ants to Abo Hut. Please leave all eucalyptus leaves at the front door. Not responsible for lost or stolen boomerangs. No dog eating on premises, please. Come Tuesday to our dwarf tossing contest. Throw a real shrimp on the barbie at Club Abo. We accept Diamonds Club MasterCard and most major dingo pelts and spearheads here at Abo Hut. No platypuses or spiny anteaters, please. So go waltzing Matilda with us at Abo Hut and let the savage loose! And while I'm on this topic, all these supermarkets you go to, the All Max, the Stop and Shop, the Poverty Supreme, they're all geared around women. What women want? I want a supermarket for men! I want dynamite in aisle one, gorilla in cage in aisle four, nuclear waste in aisle seven, gasoline, tobacco, ammunition, and petroleum jelly in the front of the store! And there's a man's supermarket! There's sawdust on the floor! That's yesterday's furniture! Because it's a man's supermarket! There's a flight of raw meat hanging from the rafters! Because it's a man's supermarket! Girly pictures over the cash register! Because it's a man's supermarket! They sell odorizers! Tooth decay! There'll be a sign. Shirted and shaved patrons may be reduced in minutes, you fruitcake! <laughs> and they won't have ivory soap. They'll have eye soap. It doesn't lather, it doesn't foam, it just stares back at you in the shower! <laughs> They'll have anti-ivory soap. 99 and 44, 100% impure! <laughs> Stinks like shit, sinks to the bottom of the tub, but it's really, really good for your skin. <laughs> Cleanliness is next to godliness. Only dirty people commit crimes. And I say build more prisons. Because the more people there are jailed in penitentiaries, the shorter the lines. <laughs> Jail is psychotherapy. Caged experts breaking caged failures. Do right or we'll make you hurt so bad you'll wish you would ever work for it. So why don't we start a jail club? We go out the ball and chain or the rock pile or something like that. Go on, let's go, let's put a shackle with on our ankle. Jail shit, let's have straight pajamas. <laughs> we'll walk with a mattress strap for our backs in case some older fellow wants to bugger us. <laughs> and we'll have a club slogan, making little ones out of big ones since 1798. Here at the rock pile. Am I doing this right? I don't think so. Try again. Give me a drink of water. What? This is the Middle East? And there be no water? <laughs> what is that? The mile of endless sand? Get me a drink out pronto! <laughs> you have my last. I only drank half of this so far, yeah. There you go. There you go, Mr. Girls. Thank you. Oh, slow down. That's better. <laughs> I needed that. Hey, I know you. 
You're Dom DeLuise's son, aren't you? <coughs> I was Dom DeLuise's son for a while. I wore Cher's garter belt as my pinky ring. That anorectic scarecrow. Yeah, me and Dad, I used to call him Porky. We used to go to the All You Can Eat Frankfurt contest. Dad was better at gobbling them wieners. But I tucked away so many mashed potatoes they made me kick. <laughs> You know what I hate? I hate first night. First night. I wouldn't go to first night even if they held it outdoors. Because I'm the wrong hero. I'm not into self-help. I'm into self-help. I bought a dachshund. That's so I could get a long little doggy. <laughs> I went to a library and I picked up a book and I dropped it and the librarian said, you're taking 10 years off the life of that book every time you drop it. So I dropped it 10 times and said, there, now you have a done it, boy, <laughs> I had a job at the Library of Congress in the rare manuscripts room, but I got fired because every time they asked for a rare manuscript, I burned it. And I'd say, there, now it's rare. Pretty soon it'll be well done! <laughs> Mr. Double Dog! I'm the wrong hero. I do satire with lots of violence at the end. I liberate you from the bondage of the everyday and remake you in my image. Speaking of remaking oneself into some image, I bet your friend is sitting there in his purple mansion going, Hey man, that's my song, that's 1999! I'm gonna get that block! I'm gonna get it! <laughs> I was in California, and someone called me Sir Antoinette. We were in the middle of the Bay Bridge because I told her we'd cross that bridge when we came to it, and when we got to the mill, I left her stranded there. Antoinette called me sir, and I said, Lady, don't call me sir. Call me big sir. Because all my friends are big. I got a car the size of Connecticut. It is Connecticut. That's what they call it. Connecticut. You should see the fun I have when I crash land in Rhode Island with a car the size of Connecticut. Motoring on the way to the Bronx Zoo to buy semi-automatic weapons for cash and play poker with Terrence Gorilla. In case you were wondering what I do on my off days. Cause you know, a car isn't just something you turn into. It's something you turn on to. A driveway isn't just something you drive down. It's something you turn into. Your car isn't just transportation. It's a robot slave heading through and 
who has fulfilled one of my cruel and arbitrary whims. Glass of water, front and center, Earth flash! <laughs> <laughs> As you see me expel hydrous oxide through my blubbery lips, <laughs> only consider that this moment will be freeze framed through all eternity. It'll be like Jacob's Ladder from Bohemian. You'll be reliving this squalid nightclub scene day after day as you wrote in hell. <laughs> And I couldn't think of a better crowd in which to discover the joy of eternal torment with. I'm all choked up. Yeah, the 12 steps. Somebody here wanted to hear about the 12 steps. Step one, going to the library when you're nine years old. <laughs> <laughs> and checking out all the books on drugs that you can find. And when the librarian says, Say, you're developing quite an interest in drugs, young man. <laughs> you would act guilty and say, It's for a fifth grade paper on science, <laughs> Mr. Hackerwire. <laughs> Oh, be turned to the mod. Step two, using drugs. How does it most commonly happen? You're in a swinging nightclub and you want to impress some gal who's bare ass naked and doing a belly dance in a conga line on the skate floor in the cellar. <laughs> <laughs> so in order to impress her, you turn on! <laughs> and that's when your life is over! <laughs> Step three. That first buzz was free. But what about the next fix? drugs. Step four, light bulb. Selling drugs. <laughs> Step five, selling drugs to your unstable cousins and neurotic in-laws. <laughs> Step six, selling drugs to your high school principal. <laughs> you get them from the school nurse. That way, none of the money leaves the school. <laughs> Step seven. Or did I miss one? Oh, you're on track. Go ahead. Step seven. Selling drugs to an undercover FBI agent. Step eight, renouncing the use of drugs. What a surprise! <laughs> Whoa, not since. Not since we saw a week in the Russians in 1973 and anything like this happened. <laughs> Step nine. Wearing a little badge like a concentration camp in there. Chewing gum. <laughs> Boring other people with your problems. <laughs> Finding no surcease in the whirlpool of psychoanalysis, which sucks all the initiative.
Jesus is alive in you, and you pay for the privilege. <laughs> Step 10. Get into self-help groups. Listen to your New York guru. The guy you would have loved two years ago in a drug-induced frenzy is now your mentor! Worse! He's your father confessor! <laughs> Step 11. Going back with drugs. It's a wonder there ain't songs written about it. All these whiny, bloated, hypocritical pop preachers talking about the joys of taking drugs, but none of them ever embrace the true issue. Drugs are medicine, and medicine is fun. <laughs> <laughs> so this is a little song that Neil Young never wrote. It's called Peter Frampton Breaking All the Rules. There, I just broke Peter Frampton. Welcome to the Wrong Heroes world. The thing that sets the world apart is that the wrong hero is always in the wrong place at the wrong time. And everything the wrong hero does is wrong. Wrong, 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 wrong. Alright, no more music for now. There is a god, but he forgot my name. Wrong. wrong. <laughs> Good, I will spare you. My underwear is so dirty I crinkle when I walk. Wrong. Good. Wrong. I'm glad that you animals have been placed here for my satisfaction. Wrong. I'm torn from today's headlines and I'm not very happy about it. Wrong. Wrong. My motto is wrong. Sit down, little man! Wrong. I hate sensitive people. Sensitive people always try to hold you hostage to their paranoid delusion. Wrong. I hate insensitive people who go around and ignore my very existence because they're insensitive. Wrong, 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 wrong. And I hate bureaucrats who think that this country exists solely for their benefit and not so we can pay off our debts to Japan. Yeah, 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 yeah. Wrong. 
George Bush is going to spend $100 million to dredge up Boston Harbor. Oh, wrong. I got news for him. I beat him to it. I dredged up all the tea in Boston Harbor. And you know what I did with it? I smoked it. Wrong. And you know what that did to me? Wrong. for six months. Now I can use my slop jar for a nightlight. <laughs> what a fringe benefit. You know the old saying, you can't make an omelet without breaking eggs. Well, what kind of sissy poster lining down wearing perfumey water under his arms, white tuxedo shirts in broad daylight, and both has a clip-on kind of fella, he's on <laughs> you know what else they say? They say, all friends are like old shoes. Because you can walk all over them. And you know what else I hate? People who stereotype. They're all the same. Wouldn't it be great if we used the subjunctive every day and we didn't even realize it? I don't like you anymore. Welcome to George Hoover Herbert Walker's head. Do you know why Bush collapsed at that Japanese summit? Republican and Buchanan's running for Republican and George Bush is running for Republican. Great! Don't puke and puke! Just what we need. And who are the other midgets from Nebraska and Arkansas and some god awful state called Massachusetts and, and Iowa, the Democrats running for office? What about Art Agnos? What about Leonora Fulani? What about those people? What about Tom Paulson? He's running for the 1500th time. Harold Stassen, he's running. Okay, he's not running as a Democrat. He's running as a perennial misfit loser. That's why he's my candidate. I'm the wrong hero of my personal philosophy is I'm okay but the rest of you must be sacrificed! I don't like you people. You're the kind of people who would lick baklava off a baby's upturned snout. I don't like that kind of behavior. Dan Quill's gonna make a real good president, especially in foreign policy. Witnessing all those racetrack accidents at the Indy 500, that's bound to give him a good understanding of our global geopolitics. Last week, Lloyd Bridges was born in 1913. Lloyd Bridges, the man who every time you hear, da 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 you see his ugly face looming over you and it's bloated. Hideousness. Chuck Berry was born in 1928. He's the man who gave us the immortal phrase, as I had a Cadillac motivating over the hill. That's immortal poetry. Martin Luther King was born last week. He's the man who said, I have a dream. And Captain Beefheart was born last week. He's the man who said, Oh, dark, oh, day, oh, dark. And Ronnie Van Sant was born last week. He's the man who said, I'm as free as a bird. Not anymore. They all break some records. Charlie and Rich, there won't be any more. You can say that again. 
by Umberto Tozzi. Umberto Tozzi! Let's go to the supermarket and buy some Italian-style vegetables in the frozen 16-ounce bag for a dollar 29 and it's Umberto Tozzi! Till I get it right, which is never. Paul Jamara, Yankee by Bobby Braddock, The Destroyed, Mac Davis, Emily Suzanne, back with Rock and Roll, I Gave You the Best Years of My Life. Well, now it's time to die! <laughs> Daryl Hall and John Oates, I Can't Go For That, No Can Do, I'll Say. <laughs> Hodges, James, and Smith, off. <laughs> Need I say more? Easter Parade by Guy Lombardo. In my insane Easter bar with the straws on it, with all the frills on it, die! <laughs> Music box dancer, Frank Mills. There's a little dancing for you. Hold on to my love by Jimmy Ruffin. Ugh. Look, it's sticky. <laughs> totally Hot by Olivia Newton-John. Totally Dead by the Wrong Hero. <laughs> One Man's Woman by Kenny Rogers, backed with You Decorated My Life. I'm going to decorate the tarmac with your choppers if you ever come around here, beardo. <laughs> Playboy Records, After the Storm by Wynn Stewart. You spoke too soon. Mo Bandy, that's what makes the jukebox play. Backed with, are we making love or just making friends? I think I'll save this one. I'd rather have a heart abused. What about some, well, this one won't break. Who's the five? Margo Smith, of course, the famous Margo Smith. Topping the chart to Billboard number one, bumping Nirvana off the top spot. Margo Smith, the inestimable Margo Smith. Bessie Smith, move over. It's time for Margo. I'm skating on her goddamn record head. <laughs> Nova Scotia by Carolina Edwards, backed with, I'm so glad to see you. I'm so glad to see you go. <laughs> Pure Prairie League. Let me love you tonight. Not a chance. Frank Sinatra. The hurt doesn't go away. Hope that hurt enough for you, Frankie. <laughs> Crystal Gale. Talking in your sleep and not making a damn word of sense to you. 
Denise Women Williams, waiting by the hotline, back with love notes. How's about my message of hate? Die! <laughs> and now, a taste of honey presents a taste of hell. Carolina Edward. Carolina Edwards. What? Yet another one? This must be hell. What's the next record in the Wrong Heroes Desert Island Discs? Carolina Edwards with Nova Scotia, and I'm so glad to see you. Oh, man. to smoking pot because all the Billboard Top 40 people are potheads. Die! <laughs> Thank you. You know, I'm honored to appear before you. I'm crafty and subtle and I exert an uncanny hypnotic influence and you better forget I ever said that. I'd like to talk a little bit now that President's Day is coming up about our president, starting with our first president, George Herbert Walker Bush. Well, he told the British that it was okay if they stuck around for another 20 years, and that was our first president. Our second president was Ronald Reagan. He lost the War of 1812. And then our third president was Jimmy Carter. Uh, and that was the era of good feeling. All the colonial ladies bundled with all their boyfriends before they even got married. Then after Jimmy Carter, our fourth president was Gerald Ford. But mercifully, he had been forgotten. And then after that, our fifth president was Richard Nixon. He sold the country to Canada, so the United States no longer existed, for the sixth president, who was Lyndon Baines Johnson. The seventh president, John F. Kennedy, was put in prison for being too good looking. And the eighth president, Ike Eisenhower, was too old and died on inauguration day of a bad head cold because medicine was too primitive back then to treat a simple cold. Our eighth president, Harry Truman, got involved in scandals involving vast sums of money plundered from frontiersmen who had gone out and shot many wild animals in order to manufacture minks. And our 10th president and our final president, Franklin Delano Roosevelt, not only sold what was left of the United States to Russia, but he also gave away territories that didn't even belong to him. Just remember, today is January 22nd, the day Sam Cooke was born. It is also the day that George Gordon, Lord Byron, was born. And had he lived, he would have been 204 years old, which is how old you would have to be before you could finish his epic poem, Darn Who Off. A 
the wrong hero, and as I stand amidst this scene of carnage, which I generated for your benefit, I have only one thing to say to you. You are beginning to bore me!
his own worst enemy, and he's continually fighting himself. From the age of five, when the wrong hero used to take popsicle sticks and sharpen them against the curb and begin to tear him and threaten to take his own lunch money! And what about the time the wrong hero called himself on his called himself on his answering machine, holding himself for ransom, holding himself for ransom, saying, "Follow my instructions." 
instructions, or you'll never see yourself, or you'll never alive, see yourself alive again. And then the wrong hero hung and up. And then the wrong hero hung up. <laughs> But what about at work? But what about at work? When the wrong hero stands, the wrong hero stands around at lunch break, at lunch break and, says, and says, the wrong hero is always, the wrong hero is always 15, minutes 15 minutes late. He steals the milk from the office. And he makes that lunch photocopy. And what about the time of the party? The wrong hero would be happy if the wrong hero is ugly blackhead. The wrong hero would be blackhead. <laughs> I had King Midas. To I my had house. King Midas to my house. He turned everything to he gold. He turned everything to gold. And I said, "You want to?" I said, "You want to?" Ask me first. <laughs> so I started to hit. So I started to hit. <laughs> and he said, "And he said, nobody, nobody beats Midas." <laughs> nobody. Nobody. So just when he was turning, just when he was turning his head, I sucked the one. And I said, "Go and I said, "Go to I'm the wrong hero. I'm going to say we have no quarrel with the Russian leader. Just the Russian people. Russian <laughs> people." I say turn the Soviet Union to Disneyland. Disneyland. Mickey Lackey. Mickey Lackey. Pluto Missile. Pluto Missile. Pointed at Donald Duck. Duck. Donald Duck. Duck. Donald Duck. Duck. Donald 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 Duck. If you don't mind, and it's difficult trying to concentrate when this is your game or me. Man, it's percolating down right under there. Double duck, double duck, double duck, double duck. If you ask nicely, I may shut it up. Double duck, double duck, double duck. When I was young, I followed the Grateful Dead to get them. <laughs> so this is my hippie protest song. I think you should take a shave and cut off your beard and do something about your breath. Cause last night a stranger, a bearded stranger, stranger tickled my girl to death. <laughs> Thank you. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah. They have a clean way to make out. And it's all American. I'm Superman's real best friend. Do you think he'd hang around with a twerp like Jimmy Olsen wearing those bow ties? Who is this guy? Where did this poofer come from? A Fred Copper movie? No! I was Superman's real best friend. And he invited me to the Fortress of Solitude. I thought you hated Superman. Now I hate him because he betrayed me! The archetypal backstabber! S. Stalin! Superman! Man of Steel! So he invited me to the Fortress of Solitude, and he got mad just because I projected a black hole into the Phantom Zone! Hey! 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 I'm more I don't mean the DC superheroes. I hang around the Marvel superheroes. Line. I went to the Fantastic Four's headquarters looking for a miracle. Right, one more line. She slapped me five times. And one more line. This is what a superhero in ET needs. An invisible girl. Her nagging voice will tell the band what to do. One but more line. Line. One more line. It's a creepy mess. I don't want to look at Iggy Dolls anyway. One more line. Mr. Fantastic was at the Artmark Massage Parlor getting all of his parts lubricated. The thing was doing around doing his Jack Flutman impressions, lighting cigars with the human torch. <laughs> Spider-Man was hanging around here. What is it with this guy Spider-Man? He's married, he screws all the time, and then he climbs the wall for the rest of the time. 
I submitted my resume and it went like this. The name is the wrong yellow. The wrong yellow. This is my resume. It's mine, do you hear me? Mine. Give it back. Explain. Chop, chop. And now I'm going to leave you with a reading from the wrong yellow's Bible. Book one, chapter one, verse one. I am the wrong hero. And this is the only thing you have to remember. So yay, verily, put down this book and be ready to do my bidding. <laughs> book one, chapter one, verse two. So you did not heed my commands. Now verily, ye must be sacrificed! Illiteracy, 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 you are beginning to feel on me! Illiteracy, 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 Station. 
no sissy oxygen, no panty waste water. No, there'd be carbon monoxide and toxic waste, and they would run on alcohol, and they would circle that grunting drunkenly, just on general principle. Right. You're eating. You mean you're stuffing garbage with flesh into your equally putrescent trash can mouth? No, yes. It's the waffle, not the flesh. This is the waffle. You mean? He knows about the tea. I think I'll get personal with you. Do any of you ever give get well cards? No. Well, that's good. You know why? Because even those sick people think get well cards are some sort of totem which are going to drive the evil spirit away from them. In actuality, get well cards spread germs. They probably spread the very germs the sick people would lie in the hospital dying of. So just remember that next time you resort to packaged sentiment to, to help your sick friends. The thing to do when your friends are sick is to go into their hospital room and take advantage of them. And they're weak and sick. And they're too confused and drunk to stop them. Do you have an extra level? No, those are the extra. I got two. You got two? Oh, you're the only one with two? I'm the wrong hero. I'm running for president. And my message is don't write me in. My blood type is B negative. Also, my personal philosophy. I'm the wrong hero. I'm saying right now that it's time for Uncle Sam to play fuck boy to everyone in sticking my world country and wanting to hand off from us. I say, get rid of the new world order and bring in no world order. Don't use a master card, use a bastard card. Don't use a gold card, use a god card. Don't play go. There's no time for that. Play go. Do you care to hear any more of my spellbinding oratory? Anarchy. Or are you rendered mute and speechless by my magnificence? Tell us about the tea. <laughs> okay, I'll get to that. <laughs> I'm the wrong hero, and I come from a planet far away, and I'm the one best suited to ruin your squalid little planet. And here am I, Bill of Wrongs. Do what the wrong hero says, the soldiers have the right to bust in your house and raise your daughters for chocolate bars, and you can't do a damn thing about a buster if we turn us into firearms. Worship the wrong hero as you please. Say what you want, but do as I say. Because Congress shall enact no law without the wrong hero having one hell of a big say about it. The wrong hero, don't write me in. The wrong hero, trailblazer, bushwhacker. The wrong hero, don't write me in. The wrong hero, he wears his gun because it's comfortable. The wrong hero, don't write me in. The wrong hero, there's nothing on underneath the dress. The wrong hero, master, master of double speed. A mirror of unobjectivity, sultan of slander, evil overlord of nonverbal communication. Big Saturday Night Gospel Program, mighty supreme voices of death. Sorry. Saturday Night Gospel Program, James Saunders and the Legends. Now they're really legends. Back in history. Miss Shirley Murdoch, Park Avenue. You like Shirley? Okay, here you can have it. Gospel World Series, Dixie Hummingbirds. Come a little bit of this. Say, we have valuable gospel posters. It's representative of an indigenous and authentic native nation. Perhaps, perhaps I should destroy them in this arbitrary fashion. Senator Bill Owen, Senator Kevin Fitzgerald, representative for a
Representative Johnson Rosen, Representative John McDonough, Representative Shirley Owens Hicks, Representative Byron Rushing, and Representative Alvin Thompson. See, the power of truth, it will not destroy. Odds and ends. There's one. And there's an odd. Anybody want an end? Well, we're coming to it. The Smith Singers. The Smith Singers. Obviously, a pseudonym. They sign up at Mass the nearest sleazy motel as the Smith Singers. Show them all back to Mass and we're going to take some time to do a sleazy rocket food. <laughs> The Holy Ghost Travelers. Charlie oh. Caesar. Well, Caesar's having seizures. Caesar's having seizures. And so am I. Mighty Supreme Voices. Spiritual vibrations. Kill for the love of killing. Kill for the love of power. CD sale up to 60% off. Plus 40%. The Bill Moses creation. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was made flesh and dwelt amongst us. Chapter 2. Thou shalt obey the wrong hero in everything he says and does. And put down this book right now. For now, that is all you know and all you need to know. Chapter 3. So you didn't listen. Now you must be You are beginning to annoy me. <laughs> because you make me nervous. You over there with that M on your hat. What does that M stand for? My girl. It's not for my baby sacrifice! <laughs> Unless I miss my bet. You make me nervous. And do you want to know why? Because your atrocious behavior and table manners have convinced me that you are evil! might make it feel better. I'm the wrong hero. I have a bad 
lessons for the children. Kids, violence is bad. But if you're like for me, where you come from is recreation. I threw Bob Hope off an ocean liner. And you know what he did? Oh, he bobbed hopelessly. Alright, let's pick up the pace a little bit here. I have this one message for you, just one message alone before I go. Actually, I'm lying, I'm not going to go. I'm going to stay here forever because all good things must come to an end, and that's why I'm never going to leave. <laughs> And life is long. Yeah. I'm talking about Art Linkletter. <laughs> All these people saying, buy American, buy American. Why not go the next step? Steal Japanese. Yeah. <laughs> You're getting better. How can I improve my act? I humbly implore you to give me some examples of why I'm not funny so I can hate you forever for it. <laughs> I'm the wrong hero, you, you are already beginning to bore me. You know that's how I'm slurring my words? That's for art. Hey, do you know those Jimi Hendrix licks that we were talking about earlier? Could you just give us one example of the Jimi Hendrix artistry that we were discussing? Because after all... No, nah, he's gonna do it. Well, he bores me, you bore me. I feel, I feel like a charger on a white horse. I feel, well, I feel like a cowboy with a big bandana tied around his neck, lashing hordes of cattle into a slaughterhouse. That's how I feel. I, I'm trying to get in touch with my feelings, but you are beginning to undermine me. <laughs> and do you want to know why?
I'm not even Anglo. Because I hate everything and everybody. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, as you are treated every Saturday and every Saturday down here at the Middle East, would you please put together for the wrong hero. I hate Joseph. Joseph Sater. A cross between Santa Claus and Santana. I hate all the letters of the alphabet. I hate A, E, I, O. And especially you! And sometimes why? Why? I'm the wrong hero and everything I do is wrong. Some people say the wrong hero is crazy. Right. That should disprove those ugly rumors. Okay. You know, I like you. I genuinely like you. You give good audience. You're the best. Victims. My name is the wrong hero. Alcoholic, drug addict, easy guy to shop for around Christmas time. Yeah, I'm just an easy going guy. An easy going guy. My father asked me what I wanted for Christmas. And I said, money, money and lots of it. We got a fat so don't go there. So he gave me a shirt. The Pope, the Pope said that drug addiction is grounds for divorce. I walked up to the Pope and I said, Marriage is grounds for drug addiction, Are you communists? Do you realize we're going to be taking over the Soviet Union in six months? Do you realize we owe half, half, every, half the money we owe? We owe to Japan? This, this whole world's changing. It's going, it's going insane. It's turning into flux and quicksand. It's like one of those little boxes with ball bearings in it. You tilt it and everything goes plumb straight to hell. I'm drowning in your love.
<laughs> My name is the wrong hero. Alcoholic, drug addict, easy guy to shop for around Christmas time. <laughs> and just once before I die, I'd like to menstruate. <laughs> That's so I can be on the cutting edge of bitches for a chance. <laughs> That's my New Year's resolution. Some people say the wrong hero is crazy. <laughs> I'm crazy like a fox, and I've been doing a show for the Fox Network. It's a kiddie show, it's called the Please, Mr. You're hurting my arm show. <laughs> I started an organization called Save the Termites. But they ain't my headquarters. <laughs> they ain't the secretary. They ain't the files. In grace. I'm the wrong hero. I hate A E I O and especially you. And sometimes why? Why? Don't bother me. I'm writing an autobiography. It's called This is not a book. Oh, get out of here. Beat it. Swam. Fetch the ring off Granny Iron Part 1. <laughs> and Part 2 is called, So You Didn't Listen. I had a Jehovah's Witness come up to my house. He said, Fran, do you know what the most important book in the Bible is? And I said to him, That wouldn't happen a day the book of Revelation, that would it? <laughs> Go on, get out of here, or you're going to witness a Jehovah's accident. And you'll be in the ho Jehovah's hospital, in Jehovah's traction. And if you don't have Jehovah's health insurance, it's your Jehovah's funeral! <laughs> I got stopped by the policeman. I was doing 70 through a school zone, say one of the breaks. He said to me, you were doing 70. I said, I was pretending the accelerator was a policeman's head because I was sucking on a shoe of LSD and I wanted to get home before I know that! <laughs> <laughs> I'm not a policeman. And he said, okay, but watch it next time. <laughs> I hate waiters that come up to you and tell you their name. Hello, my name is Geraldo. Today's special is curry lamb, plus a complimentary visit to our salad bar. I say to them, My name is Geraldo. Today's special is specially run food, plus house, or die. And a complimentary trip to hell is included. <laughs> My father, my father likes to give me advice. My father likes to give me advice. He said to me, Sean, what do you want for Christmas? And I said, Money! <laughs> he said, Well, money isn't everything. And I said, So why don't you give me some? <laughs> no! He said, I have to be So he said, Money to grow on trees. And I said, I oh, know money to grow on trees. Just throw them in your fat water, fool. <laughs> now fuck it over. Run no. I'm a head for your pocket. <laughs> so my father said, You catch more flies with honey than you do with vinegar. And I said, That sounds like a brilliant money making thing. What do we call it? The Fly Tigers and Stuff Incorporated. He said, why buy a cow if milk is so cheap? And I said, why buy milk? Why buy anything if you're starting it up a bag? <laughs> and my mother, she likes to meet to me. She says, the three-year-old kittens have lost their mittens and don't know where to find them. And I say to her, kittens wearing 
we got a feature like we do every Saturday afternoon, of course. <laughs> that will see. Take your time, Francis. Oh, it's the man. We'll make room for uh, our weekly show. I believe it's only once a week. My week is like it used to be. Two minutes ago. Matter of fact, my guy is here at the stage at least five times a week. Once here at the Saturday Blues Jam, once at the open mic, and three or four times during the Wednesday evening show. So if you want to truly reward the wrong hero in the manner to which he has become accustomed, you will attend these shows or die. Ladies and gentlemen, another week or segment down at the Middle East Restaurant as we do every Saturday afternoon. Our court judge, as we call him, Francis, as you know, and the main money man at the door. But we all know him is on the stage as he is now with his disguise. Ladies and gentlemen, would you please put together for another fine segment, another fine portion of our show for the wrong hero! His name is Skies, it's a way of life. What's causing that static? What's causing that static? Oh. See, I'm my own worst enemy. But don't you give me any static, because I'm in a very tired mood. On the way in here, I hit a woman on the head with a tripod, and when I came back to apologize, she laughed. She laughed! She said, I know you were embarrassed, and that made up for the pain that you caused me when you hit me on the head with a 30 pound tripod. Ha 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 My kind of woman. You are my... friends. Some people treat their cars like they're human. I don't make that mistake with Sam. I'm angry at you for not appearing at a benefit for my favorite charity, me. Does anybody out here go to Little Caesars? You know, Little Caesars with the little, the little Mussolini up there going, pizza, pizza. Pizza, pizza. 30 years from now, they're going to wake me up from a frozen block of ice where I've fallen after doing battle with the Incredible Hulk. And the first words that are going to come out of my mouth are, pizza, pizza. When I go out on a Saturday night, what I like to do is have a lot of greasy bread. Hey, let's have a party with a whole bunch of greasy bread. We you accept it, Gary? And we get two greasy loaves as well. Two greasy bread, two greasy loaves, and two sugars with water and bubbles that cost 50 cents each. That's my idea of a good Saturday night. I registered to run for president in the New Hampshire primary on the Republican ticket, of course, because I'm the wrong hero. So now it's Duke, Buke, Puke, and the wrong hero. Duke, Duke, Buke, Buchanan, Puke, George Bush, and the wrong hero. So here's the final word. Don't vote for me. My message? I don't care. See, you can see I'm a Republican. My motto? America's diversity is its most fatal weakness. Now you know I'm a Republican. I'm going to tell you a few of the people I hate most of all as my newly declared candidacy underwinds. People from the Boston Globe, reporters from the Boston Globe that come in to your place of work, flashing their press credentials, pushing everybody out of the way. Hey, well, I'm important. I'm making world history here. I'm from the Boston Globe. And if you don't do with the program, I'm going to report you to your superior. And I hate the Boston Globe. Say what else I hate? The Super Bowl. Because they don't play it on grass anymore. They play on the AstroTurf. And you want to know why they play it on the AstroTurf? Because with AstroTurf, you can lift up the little sod and stick a syringe full of hormones under there when the referee comes to check your life. So I say AstroTurf forever. Because drugs are medicine, medicine is fun, physician, heal thyself! Your flat affect and lack of response are beginning to annoy me. <laughs> As a matter of fact, even though you have been listening attentively to every word, you are beginning to make me
Second position. Paper. Do you know who Bill Clinton really is? He's Mario Cuomo's repressed sex drive. He's Cuomo as sex maniac. He's Cuomo who knows how it feels to be shifted in the fifth gear on 110 miles now with a dumbo on either arm. That's the kind of president we want. You know what I say about the Democratic primary? What if, a, what if a tree fell in the forest and nobody gave a shit? See if you recognize the candidate this song goes with. Here he comes, Jerry Brown. Governor waves lap the shore. Governor put me to sleep with dreams of moonbeams. Governor, I'm so in touch with myself, it hurts to feel. Former governor of California, what a distinction. And the corn fed Bill Clinton and, and Kerry whining about how he was in a veterans hospital. That's what he's running on me. I was in a veterans hospital ticket of the Democratic Party. Ghastly song is with these effeminate hand gestures. Well, I think if we had a three cent gas tax on everything, then our deficit will solve itself in 20 years. I am a realistic candidate for president. Well, I'm running for president. I'm a deformed alien, supremely qualified to rule your squalid little planet. You want to rub my hunch? My campaign slogan is, he used drugs in college, but he only used them several thousand times. I'm the wrong hero. Don't write me in. I'm the wrong hero. I'm not a trailblazer. I'm a bushwhacker and a scandal monger. The wrong hero. Don't write me in. The wrong hero. He wears a dress because it's comfortable. The wrong hero. Don't write me in. The wrong hero. There's nothing on underneath the dress. The wrong hero. Don't write me in. I'd like to toast you all now. I'd like to compliment you for being such an attentive audience for about 2% of the show. I drink to your health when I'm with you. I drink to your health when alone. I drink to your health so often. You're beginning to make me sick! <laughs> because you are beginning to bore me! Because you make me nervous! <laughs> because you're Ladies 
and gentlemen, another fine segment down here of the one, and thank goodness the only, but we love him just the same, our court gesture, Francis, better known as the wrong hero, 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 hero. In fact, I can't get along with any of you. This is John Kimmerman, ladies and gentlemen, guitar and vocals. Clipped on keyboard, drill on John. Yeah. Andy on guitar and vocals as well. Cat on vocals and sax. Uh, Simple and I need that thing turned down somehow. Get that treble out of there, please. Once again, for our weekly segment down here, as we do every Saturday. Ladies and gentlemen, yes. Would you please put together for the one, the only, and thank goodness, the only man of our times, city, and culture. Ladies and gentlemen, would you please put together for the wrong hero, hero, hero. place is crazy, you know that? Just crazy. We're all a bunch of lunatics who would starve if it weren't for the Seder brothers. And there's this guy up there conducting his business out of the payphone there. He's calling New Hampshire, he's calling parole bars down in the Gulf of Mexico. I didn't do it, I didn't do it. She's lying. Besides, I didn't know she was 14. She told me she wasn't a virgin. This guy's conducting business there. This place is crazy. It's just nutty. It's all starting to drive me mad. I called my bank at 2 in the morning. I said, Where's my money? What are you doing with my money at 2 in the morning? And I got an answering machine. So I left a message on your answering machine. I'm going to hijack a boatload of plutonium that the Japanese are shipping from reactors in France to their country and drop it off on your bank, which I will rename Ground Zero at tomorrow noon Eastern Standard Time, unless you have a person posted 24 hours a day who will answer my questions when I call when it is the supreme will and will of the wrong hero, President of the World! You voted for me, that's excellent. Wrong hero slave. I will spare you earth flesh if I gather enough votes in the New Hampshire primary. I'm running on the no shirt, no shoes, no service party. And my platform is anger, cruelty, gold, terror, and death. Just in time to celebrate Columbus Day. Now, Jerry Brown. Jerry Brown's running for president. Here he comes, Jerry Brown. See, no, I care his head. Now Jerry Brown is dead. He's a walking down the street. No head, just two feet. Because Jerry Brown is running on the I'm so in touch with myself, it hurts to feel party. And Tom Harkin is running on the Run me behind my ears because I'm just a big old St. Bernard dog from somewhere in the Midwest that nobody's ever heard of party. And Bill Clinton is running on the You drive me ape, you big gorilla platform. Is there anyone I missed? Bob Carey, he's running on the vote for me because I was sick and I was in the hospital for a long time party. And Paul Saunders is running on the me too, I was in the hospital too party. They're all just a bunch of photos. Just remember, anger, terror, gold, cruelty, and death. That is my platform as the wrong hero. 
I got a bumper sticker on my car. It says, no radio, stolen, no car, ditto. Oh, I know, I know. Sorry, you missed that. I'm doing all this for you. I went to an exhibition of paintings by three-year-olds, and I said, an artist could have done that. Thank you, I appreciate your hysterical laughter, even though it is anti-climactic. I just gotta tell you one more thing, one more thing, okay? So can we have a moment of silence for like a, a moment of a moment of truth here? I I, I really want to get like in touch with you because you are all my friends. Uh, just so long as I can take advantage of you. I can see this approach isn't gonna work. All right, right side of your head, bozos. I got something I want to tell you about my old man. My old man said, if you build a better mouth trap, the world will beat a path to your door. And I said, Dad. I'm the wrong hero, and I'm from hell, and 
was told that you sold your soul to the devil and you tried to cheat him out of it, and I'm here to collect. Can you help me out? Or you already sold it to the highest bidder? So today we call a Middle East expecting a courteous answer on the telephone. She ain't gonna tell you. I'm finally answering the phone. Some woman came in here, she was breastfeeding her kid. I came up to her and I said, I'm sorry, we cannot permit patrons to bring beverages from outside the club. <laughs> I'm running for president, because I'm like you. Yes, I'm a lazy man who likes to stand on street corners and drink beer. I'm poor and I'm fat and I'm running for president and God damn it, I want a voice around here! <laughs> that sounds pretty good. Thank you. You know, old that old Bill Clinton, he's got a fundraiser going. It's called Donors with Boners. And you know what you know Clinton's name means in Chinese? One for all Hong Lo. That's George Clinton. You like to stay in? No. You drive me in, you big gorilla. You drive me in, you big gorilla. I'm not going to